I'm glad to see the Rebels have added some new vehicles to their arsenal. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! Now for some people, they, they got emotional seeing the new castle. This is what makes me emotional. I, I feel like Han Santa Chewy. I'm home. There's the Millennium Falcon. It is good to be back. Smuggler's Run is only a 20 minute wait. First sight of plexiglass. I've added a bunch of different like cue audio. I guess there's a story going on with engineers. I don't remember hearing that. Normally oh, these doors are shut before you go in to go see Hondo. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the ship. Sir, Hello. I haven't seen you in a while. I know, it's been only, what, like a week? Yeah. I was wondering if you had a galactic joke for us today. I do, yes, I came prepared today. So, okay. uh, how do you prepare for a space party? How? You plan it. Bright suns. Bright suns. May the spires keep you. Yes. My friend. Oh, man. We're back. Something's missing. I don't remember Han having one of these. Oh, look, they have it set up now where the pilot, the gunner, and the engineer stand. <laughs> right, pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Uh -huh. Pilot on the left. Oh, here we go. Stick to fly right and left. It's been a while, it's been a while. Oh. Ah. oh! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Now let's go get that coax out. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. You wanna do it? Can we do it? Yeah. Oh. for life forms. <laughs> you see, this happens sometimes when you travel through uncharted regions of the galaxy as much as I do. It is not unusual to find a stray species or two clinging to the... <laughs> we have a Corellian freighter that needs immediate transport back to the maintenance bay. I think we did a good job. Oh, it's sparking a little bit. Better fix all that before the Wookiee sees it. I forgot how hard it is to fly the Millennium Falcon sometimes. We crashed a little bit. I just wish that they eventually added in different types of missions to Smuggler's Run. It looks like they have tons of the Jabba's 
barge little umbrellas. This is probably the line for smugglers goes all the way back here. I don't know if Kylo's going to be doing his little choking show, but the first order store is closed. It looks like they have a smaller queue line for Olga's. We have the first relaxation station I've seen. It looks pretty packed. I don't see any place to sit. Alright, we are in the market. So it looks like they're only letting a certain amount of people into this area. But you can't buy any little monkey lizards. The creature stall looks pretty much the same. You are no longer able to buy popcorn here. Oh, it's so sad. Truly, I've missed you. Okay, you got some wonderful trash troopers up there. Okay, Vi is cornered. You're trouble, Jared. You look like trouble. Don't worry, if he tries to shoot, he'll miss yeah, you. You're right. Okay, this is the moment I've been waiting for for months. We're at Ronto's Roaster. I have put in my mobile order for my Ronto wrap. I'm excited. Now I remember when I first opened, there were aliens up there, like from episode one when Jar Jar tries to eat them, but it looks like they've taken them away. If you've never had one of these, I think it is one of the best things on the Disney property. I'm gonna need a minute to myself, that thing is so good. Let's try this new drink, I've never had it. it seems like a lot of ice. I feel like I've had like a Slurpee flavor that tastes like that. Uh, you missed me, I, I just kind of busted my I fell over in the school on the ground. Well, I might have fallen over in front of everyone, but the Ronto Wrap 10 out of 10 dropped the mic. The Tatooine Sunset, it was just kind of like, you know, like the leftover like juices of a Slurpee, just at the bottom. That, but with a little bit of sweet tea. And what happened to me in there? Honestly, I don't know. All of a sudden you started tipping backwards, and then I tried to catch you, and you still fell on the ground. <laughs> it was the sunset. Hello, my little droid friend. But I'm on the hunt for this bowl that I've been wanting to get. Well, my chip bowl is sold out, but at least I can buy a, uh, an oven mitt. Yay. Man, everybody beat me to the chip bowl. So there is a lot of people over here. The line is just, who knows where it is. Oh my God. Still a 90 minute wait and the queue is tapped out. Uh, apparently the line has hit capacity. That's the end of the line, but then there's all these other people waiting. So this is the extended queue for Rise. It apparently goes all the way backstage. One eternity later. Okay, so they, each, they have each person on a different circle. BB-8. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Should you be in flight prep? Recruits, thank you for joining the calls. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I just can't get over how yeah, cool that hologram is. Well, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. All the time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Oh. Make sure you're staying six feet apart, please. All right, so they're separating us all into different little groups. Now, normally we would come out of there and just kind of rush into the ship. I've always been over there. I've never been on this side of the ship, but it's a different view. Red 2, blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed. All on the mark. I'm looking at it. Then I think I'm on. Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. Resistance is at stake. Resistance. This ship is known to all command. All behind. This way. 
<laughs> they like we're hiding from him. Bye. Oh man. Every time, man, every time. I just want to giggle and smile. We gotta hide them. We gotta hide the child and Yoda. They're, they're gonna know. They're gonna know. This is not the child you're looking for. Hand sanitizer. I wonder if this is gonna become canon. First order plexiglass separation. So they have the social distancing queue all the way throughout the entire ship. Three right here in silver. You will follow behind me. You will follow behind that. Well, we, we weren't very good. We're being sent to our cell right now. I wonder what could happen. So it's just us and one other party in here. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Okay. So I Yes, okay. Okay, we got in. I really thought this is gonna be like a USB charger right there. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Bell, good idea. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Oh no. Pro droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Eyes on Beck. Line up. Gathering 
Such a masterpiece. I always have so much fun. It's again like my childhood dream coming true every time I ride that ride. But it was totally different. We finally sat in the front. It was really cool to watch the droid reacts to every single thing going on. All the merchandise is closed. So it's time to go into Doc Ondar's. All right, so they said to sanitize the hands to help protect the artifacts. It is empty in here. Holy crap. A Sith chalice. That's interesting. You'd be fine wearing that in is this Orlando little, heat. Is this a little face mask? <laughs> is it a face mask? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm going to get two things. <laughs> I'm going to poke you in the coconut. I'm going to get a Padawan hair braid. See, I have like that dark brown hair. I guess I got to get this one. What do you think Allison will think? I think she'll love it. <laughs> I'll take on our date to studios and wear this. Yeah, so bad. You really wanted one of like these as a kid? Yeah, because I loved those movies. Tantrum. Star Wars Episode One was my, like, I've seen that movie so many times. And then you saw Episode Two and you're yeah. like, oh, what was I thinking? Yeah, that's why I watched Episode One over and over again. The peer pressure Jared yeah. into increasing his Metachlorian count. He's going to do it. I could just look at Doc Ondar all day. He's my favorite animatronic in any Disney park. Does it look real? Oh yeah, totally. The initial Padawan braids are to be worn on the right side of a Padawan's head at exactly three and one fourth inch above a Padawan's right ear at a 30 degree angle. Does that look good? Yeah, there you go. Some people dream of being an astronaut. Other people dream of wearing a little ponytail. Oh, oh the sad. Now, did I just order a second Ronto rep? Yes, I did. I've missed these things so much. They're so good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. Okay. Now, this is like a perfect moment. Just sitting here eating my Ronto wrap in Galaxy's Edge. I'm just people watching everyone come in. Now, things definitely aren't the same here at Black Spire Outpost, but it's still Star Wars. I still love it. I really hope they allow us to come back to the park soon. So they want us to leave our trash here on the table, then they'll come by and they'll clean it. Jared hates the Ronto Wrap. I think it's the, one of the best things that Disney has ever created to eat. Why is it bad? Put your mask on, boy. <laughs> I think every cast member here should have one of the Yoda canes. So if anybody's not wearing a mask, they can enforce it, you know, hit them in the coconut, you know, pull their mask up over their nose. Well, Galaxy's Edge, I don't know the next time I'll see you, but it's been fun. And our Metachlorian count is going up. Jared, do, do, should we connect our tails like Pandora? Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> We're not leaving Batu. We're leaving Mustafar because it's so freaking hot right now. But so dumb. What do you want? Kevin. What do you think? Jared and I have uh, changed our look a little bit. You look like Joe Rody. And. What? Joe Rody has Sorry. an earring, not a, a Padawan braid. Sorry, I'm a little busy. <sighs> um. I was just excited to show Dom my new little toy, but... Yeah, you'll look like younglings. Watch out for Anakin. I hear he's on the hunt. <laughs> I honestly just think Dom is a little jealous of it. I, I think Jared and I were talking about getting little beads to put in it. Yes, we're nerds. Judge us. But so let's talk about studios for a second. I was really worried going into it because there's a lot of theming and show elements in Galaxy's Edge, which makes it Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge. And for the most part, it was all there, which was incredible. I was pleasantly surprised that both show scenes were there for Rise of the Resistance. Everything ran smoothly. It still felt like I was in Star Wars, even though the cast members were wearing their face shields and masks. It didn't take me out of the world. I loved how you're still able to see the characters. They're just, you know, a little higher up, but it still feels like you're truly in Galaxy's Edge. Now getting on Smuggler's run was great. That ride is just so efficient. They get through so many guests. It's, it blows my mind how efficient that ride is. But when you get into the cockpit, it's just your one party. There's no other parties allowed in with you. And then you just go in and, and you pick whatever role you want to have. They no longer hand you the cards. Before they used to hand you cards for pilot, engineer, gunner. 
And now the Rise of the Resistance is Rise of the Resistance with trying to get in the line and the queue and that's that's still kind of a struggle. But when you win the lottery and you actually get on the ride, it's worth it. It's life changing. Again, videos don't do the ride justice. It's like the Grand Canyon. It's just like mind blowing. But if it wasn't for Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios right now, studios would really be in trouble because again, there's not too many rides and all the shows are gone. So pretty much the main reason to go to Hollywood Studios right now is to go to Galaxy's Edge. And then when it came to Ronto's Roasters and all the food options, you have to mobile order beforehand before you can even get into the restaurant to pick up your food. But oh man, it was so good. I miss my, my Ronto wrap so much. But that uh, the Tatooine Sunrise, eh, I'd pass on it. So for right now, if you've already been to Galaxy's Edge, come back and visit but if it's your first time I would still kind of wait and hold out when things kind of get back to normal to get your full experience at Galaxy's Edge. Now I know you're all worried is this the end of the Disney videos? No! We got part three of Hollywood Studios dropping tomorrow so make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'll personally send you an invitation when the video is posted. Guys I love you all. May the force be with you. If you enjoyed this video hit that like button and I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, Galaxy's Edge is popping, but everything else is just pretty slow.